there's a young lookalike that looks like Dirk. Dirk, yo. I saw this. He mm -hmm. invites this young boy to come put on a King Vaughn jacket and- Under the guise of another YouTuber. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, my whole thing is, I got the itchy throat. My whole thing is like this, right? Like I told Takashi at that table, I said, you have the power over them young boys that Shadi had over you. Was you listening? He takes the young boy. Now you pulls him in. He's, sca he's scary. He's skeptical. For one, he likes Dirk. For two, he has to go back to the kill zone. You sent the little dude that's a good kid back to the kill zone knowing the consequences if them Chicago boys or anybody from those blocks catch him. You just painted a bullseye on his head. This was the reason for me sitting down with Takashi to be the voice of reasoning. It Same old caterpillar. This Turn smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard. Yo, Jim, I need a bomb, I could drop on you niggas. Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas. I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest. I solidify my spot with gorillas. Now I'm rock with you niggas. My expert opinion, who cares what number it is? It's about to be different. The air is about to change. We had this brother on the show before. Shout out to all the people who appreciated us bringing someone with such a strong opinion on the platform. Shout out to the subscribers. Hit that like, hit that share, let everybody know you in here. Don't cost you no paper unless you's a mother hater. Doing bigger? It's working. It's a different air out here. We not on play play time. We got Hassan Campbell in the building. Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Shall we begin? First, I want to toast. I hit 300K subscribers. You hit 400K <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> Tap it up. Yeah. Tap it up. Yeah, man. Mm. Ah. Hassan. Never a dull moment, Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love it. Got to love it. <sighs> How's your week? <laughs> Joe. <laughs> it's like, where do we start at, huh? Where do we start at? Where do we start at, man? All right. So, from the last time you was here, I saw you kind of went, not on a tour, but you've been stepping outside of your comfort zone a couple of times. Right. You did the interview with academics. Right. How was that? I think the interview with academics, the first one was dope. Right. I think it was dope. Was it, was it, were you reluctant to sit with act? Um, the way I see it is like this, right? I, I watch a lot of Malcolm X. I seen Malcolm X on plenty of platforms that was, you know, the colonizer. Right. That's what we call him, the colonizer. He was on a platform. So I said, whatever it takes to get the message out, that's what you do. Right. Because people got to keep in mind, regardless to what, academics has millions of the youth watching. Right. You know, so. Millions. At some point in time, I know I had to separate the old street dude and, and, and get to the, you know, the tribal leader. Right. At and some point in time, I want people to understand 
the caterpillar turns into the butterfly. At some point in time, the real nigga mentality has to go in the garbage. Some people can't take that because they don't know where to go from there. That's all they have. They stuck. Where do we go from there? So many places. It's like... You listen to the average conversation. It's like, what are you talking about? Then you start scrolling through social media or reading whatever you're reading from, and you're seeing dudes like Elon Musk talking about taking your consciousness out of your body and putting it on a chip so you can buy land in a virtual world and, um, and live forever. Buy land. So now you got to sit back and you say, damn, listen to these conversations that dudes is having. These people gave us a voice. They said the revolution would not be televised. They gave you a platform, allowed you to grow an audience. What are you talking about? When you watch Star Trek, The Next Generation, they tell you you can boldly go where no man has ever gone before. before. Then you look at Elon Musk and it's like, okay. We going to stay stuck talking about being real niggas or we going to boldly go even with a conversation and an idea what no man has never gone gone before. before. And when I sit back and I analyze Elon Musk, when I analyze religion, I had a conversation with somebody and I was telling them like, listen, man, man puts a limit on God. God can't bring you back. He can't reincarnate you the same way he does with the plants. You know, in the fall, the plants die. In the spring, they come back the same exact way. Right. I can show you videos in my garden. Right. But now, Elon Musk actually figured out a way to take your consciousness, your soul, and put it in the cyber world. So now God has a limit, and man doesn't. Mm-hmm. You know, I've theorized with people for years on that whole concept and seeing where things are going. And one of my theories is whether you believe in God or not, whether you believe we're heading. Like, if God made you in the image of himself, then you're his child. What do children grow up to be? Why do we aspire as human beings to be so much bigger than what we are? Why do we, why are we born into a world and look for ways to change it and look for ways to make it better? Who we are now and all the things that we're capable of, what will we be capable of 10,000 years from now? Oh. All you have to do is watch Star Trek. (laughs) I mean, I tell people all the time, we sat back and watched them show us in the future, we'd be able to talk through these devices, through the TV and look at each other and look at Matt for us on camera Mm -hmm. like, wow. And then on top of that, us two. I feel like Matt Hoffa and Hassan Campbell has a similar message, a similar style. Same background. Not too many like us, but the ones who like us really, really like us. Right. What separate the two of us from a lot of dudes? It's the spirituality. Everybody could be a thug. Right. But some just ain't got no righteousness in them. And that's the righteousness is what makes you a million times more dangerous than a thug. Because through the belief, through your beliefs. A thug might feel that fear walking through the door, going into the danger zone. But when you believe God with you, totally different ball game. Bruh, there's nothing stopping you. There were certain times in my life where I felt that so strongly that I would walk into things and look, and after everything is said and done, I look behind me and see everybody else that was supposed to walk in with me is way back there. But because I felt the way I felt, I completed the mission. 
Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, different. It's different. The things that they convince people to do out here, believing in a, a God, suicide bombers and all that. Ain't no thugs doing that. Ain't no thugs. About to say, yo, I'm going to walk up in here, <clears throat> and I know I'm not making it out. <clears throat> no. Some thugs get locked up. They go to jail. They decide they don't like it, and they're not thugs no more. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Moving on from there. Academics. I understand you sitting with academics. Recently, you did an interview with not, on, not only the academics, WAC 100, Takashi 69. What's your mind frame going into that interview? My mind frame was trying to figure out what made Takashi 69, he been reaching out to me since he been home. Right. Why? Can I can I suggest something? I think because out of all of us, even I at one point was kicking his back way in. You were the only one that kind of, I'm not gonna say took a took it light on him, but took a different perspective on his situation. So I feel like he viewed you as an ally. I think deep down, there's, a, there's things that you were saying that was talking to him. So he reached out to you. And then what happened? From there, well, he's the reason why me and academics even own, because he's been telling me on the phone, academics act like he don't know who you is, but he jealous. He know. Right. He know. I've been telling him you're gonna be the you're gonna be the um, next best YouTuber. Right. So eventually, um, I would end up on academics. Somehow they start this clubhouse app. For some reason, I just never really felt it. Mm. Something in my gut was just telling me something ain't something. Something, something just ain't, ain't right. right. So, you know, I sat back and watched how certain celebrities helped to build it up, and then they just vanished. Now, the WAC 100 is just the face, and at some point in time, it's always somebody pinging me to come in and me helping, you know, different rooms grow. Mm -hmm. So, I guess the kicking it with WAC because I had an issue with FBG Duck Mother. What was the issue? I said if I was the father, I would want to kill her. This woman had 10 children. She lost five of them in the most horrific way. You know, and it's like, hypothetically speaking, you know, I'm not trying to sit up there and abuse and beat up this woman, yeah. but that's what I said. That's what I felt as a father. You know, five kids out of 10, that's poor parenting, no matter what anybody has to say. In life, you have to take accountability for what you do or what you don't do. Is there another way to look at that? Could have been she was just in an environment that had more control over her boys than she could handle. Some of her babies died as babies. From what I understand, in fires, why allegedly she's in hotels getting high. You know, some of these stories is just baby back, car backs over. Like, some of the things is just, you know, at the end of the day, my prayers go out to her family. My prayers go out to her family as well. But at the same time, in the hood, the hood don't like to take accountability. It's like we blame everything for everything, everybody for everything. Nobody stands up to say enough is enough. And even to this point in day and time, I don't see Biggie's moms and Pac moms all in the video, all on the video. This woman is on the internet with, with her son's enemies having conversations about having sex. 
and what she going to do to them and what they going to do to her. And then these dudes, these are her son's enemies. Her son had to live through this. I thank God my mother never put me through that. None of our parents is perfect, but it's like, yo, when do you take accountability? accountability. See, the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is my mother was totally against a lot of things. Like, there were times when I'd get my hair braided for the first time and I'd wake up and she'd be standing over me with a fistful of braids and the scissors, like, you ain't gonna look like no thug in the head. You feel me? Right. That didn't stop me from having an AK-47 behind the dresser when I was 15 years old. You dig what I'm saying? Right. So I look at situations like that, and yeah, we could blame the mother, but where was the father? Where was the father? Wrongfully convicted of a crime. Duck's father, I believe it was. Wrongfully convicted. He's been in jail for his whole life for something he didn't do. And just came home recently, I believe, allegedly, you know, allegedly. from the story goes. Right. So this is what, when people was like, well, where was the father? You can't help when the police decide that they want to wrongly, wrongfully convict you right. and kidnap you from the culture. Right. You know, you can't help that. Right. So even still with you females out there, when you know the man is not in the house, you know you got twice as much of a job to do. And a lot of females don't feel like that. They throw the kid off on the grandparent or they leave the oldest kid in the house to raise the youngest kids. And then tell them, you can't do what I do. But that's a contradiction because now you making me take on your responsibilities. Welcome to the hood. So you, you started off having that conversation about F, FBG, Doug's mother. Right. And then what happened? You know, um, Wack was just trying to simmer the situation down, which he did. We had an adult, you know, talk or whatever the case may be. And it kind of kept going back and forth, and I bowed out. You know, out of respect, Wack was like, you know, she a, you know, she a mom or whatever. So I bowed out gracefully. Next thing you know, she's on the internet. Um, trying to sick Jojo Capone on me over the situations that, you know, the conversation that we had when it was supposed to be squashed. Right. So I'm like, in my mind, you sick in Chicago dudes on me, but what about the dudes that done killed all your sons? So that's only for a New York dude? Once again, this is something I never seen Biggie and Pop, Pop moms do right. at all. You see them, they came out, and it's like when you, the mo one of the most powerful moments in hip hop is when you actually see big moms and pop moms on that stage and they collided in each other with love, and it was like, makes you teary eyed. I had uh, Tretch on the show last night. He shared something with me that I, I feel like is going to change everybody's perspective. But it's tragic how the outside world were made to view that situation. But we'll get to that. Um, so, Jojo Capone, then what happens? After a while, I just said, you know what? Let me stop talking about her. Because obviously, you know, it, this, this, this drug called detention is is real real um, addictive, right? And you start to realize this this is what it really what it's really all about, because at one at one point in time, Charleston White reached out and was like, "Yo, I want you to work work with her." I'm like, "How could I? She trying to sick goons on me." Well, I mean, this is a woman that lost five of her kids, and ain't sick none of these goons on. I mean, these dudes was walking around Chicago. See, it's my thing, right? Mm -hmm. The killer of her son put his image or a duck image to disrespect this man on the sneakers. You wasn't speaking out about that until they got locked up. So why so um, verbal, verbally disrespectful on the internet about me? What is it in your mind only Chicago dudes get busy? That's what cost Keem Vaughn his life. 
in Chicago, he would have never been knuckling up. It wouldn't happen. In ATL, he slept. Thought it was a game. Okay, we got we got the numbers. He ran down and he lost his life in a tragic way. May he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. Anywhere else, that boy would have been on go time. How they say those who sleep stay slept. Mm. For some reason, everywhere else now thinks that New York is weak. So they step on us. That's, that's, that's kind of crazy for anyone to think that. Oh, we've been looking like that ever since Snoop came through and crushed, crushed the, the buildings. Crushed the buildings, you think so? We've been looking like that. Then on top ah. of that, it's like, yo. I mean, it, yeah, in a we, rap game, that's cool. But did people forget for like decades it was New Yorkers that was coming to your town? Yeah. <laughs> locking that, it down? That's not going to be did televised, they though. That? Yeah, they're going to forget that because now New York dudes don't even, we don't have our swag no more. So now when they start to hear dudes like me start saying, my little slogans, you get your snot box rock. That's old school New York. Thanks. Pay attention to your circle before. The, that's us. That's old school New York. Thanks. We adapted everybody else's ways and cultures. My whole thing is bringing it back to the days of when every building and every block had a different crew. We adapted they ways. They used to adapt our ways. It's like now it's time to turn the table. That's what agree, I'm here for. It's like, that. yo, we like your style, but I like our styles better. Right. And it's time to bring it back to those days where you had different crews on different blocks that repped that block, even with different buildings, man. We got to bring that back. And this is part of your stance against gang culture. See, it's like what I tried to make the young brothers understand. I don't hate you. I am the uncle that's supposed to come and put my foot in your ass when you effing up. This is out of love. When you love somebody, you stop them. When you see the kid running around the living room and he's getting ready to hit his head on the table, you grab him. These dudes that, are well, they in the streets, these OGs on the internet, they don't love you. Some of these dudes, Went to jail to 25 years. They spent 16 years in a box hiding from dudes. Ain't nobody in their right mind going to do 16 years straight in the box or eight years straight in the box. I was a dude that was in population. You like to get on the phone. You like to go on a visit. You like to get the commissary. So when dudes got to live through that, right, to mentally sit in a room for 24 hours a day and they know you about to hit that brick wall and they don't say nothing to you, they don't love you. Love is an action word. Love is not supposed to hurt. See, mama used to tell us, this is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. No, it ain't. Absolutely not. You lied, mom. May she rest in peace. That extension cord hurt, but I understand she did it for, for me to understand right. that you are doing things that you have no business and there's consequences. Mm. With these young boys out here, it's like... They're not lasting as long as we did. Some of them is not going to make it to sit up there and say, yo, we got a whole book, a lifetime story of what we've been through. Right. In Chicago, in order to, if you make it to be 21, you are a legend. What does that say? I tell people all the time, Pistol Pete legacy was of a 19-year-old to 22-year-old. By 22-year-old, this young boy was finished by the system. Explain to me how you got 40 and 50 year old men running around chasing the legacy of a 22 year old boy, boy who would not be thinking the same way if he was here today. If he was sitting in front of this camera, he would be the older version of sex, money, murder. The older version, the mature version. He would not be the caterpillar. He would be the butterfly. So now you got older dudes that stuck as the, the caterpillar and not becoming the butterfly. butterfly. So when the young boys is coming up in the hood, you can't graduate from being a real nigga and become the Elon Musk and all the dudes that's doing things that's in the next generation, like, in, like they light years ahead of us. Because the people in front of you are still caterpillars. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to let go because it's beneficial. Every aspect of our life 
has been infiltrated. If there's a sneaker selling crew, there's an agent in that. Battle rap, there's agents, agents in, in that. that. Anything that you touch, you in a barber shop, <laughs> the dude that's sitting up there right in the corner, he's an agent. agent. Everything has been infiltrated to keep that spell of ignorance over us. Drill music. I sit up there and I speak out against drill music. Mm -hmm. Not because I don't love hip hop, but because I know the consequences of me sitting up there saying, yeah, this nigga math mom, she can S my, and she's dead. Now I'm going to sit in this man face. We old school. There's no, no turning tone. back There's from no that. Facts. There's no turning. Like, but, you, but have you noticed this? Like a, a whole culture of disrespecting the dead now. Like this is, this is like the, 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 the primary promotion tool. Disrespect the dead. Because you, 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 you get people who have strong emotions towards the people that was here. You activate those emotions. And in that rage, in that, in that, in, in that, at that point where they're upset or whatever, then they act out. And then that act out affects other people. So now whatever it is that happened is spreading faster than anything else. And it's like the promotional tool for hip hop now. But, Disrespect the dead. Because you know why? And, and you got to look at the fact that, okay, I just dissed this cat's moms. Put it on streaming platforms, mm -hmm. monetize my platform, and now I got $100,000 in my pocket for my songs with no deal. These kids is doing better than their parents. So now you got your whole crew, it's 30 dudes in your crew that just seen that, that music was promoted on these streaming platforms. The same platforms that academics and Takashi 69 said, you have to sit down with Spotify. You have to. He's telling you, you have to, or your numbers is not going to go. Mm -hmm. These kids ain't sat down with nobody. nobody. The blood sacrifice was through their lyrics. Actually, no. The first step of the blood sacrifice was the actual young boys that's being hit on the block. Then you run to your video and your, to the studio. You write your tracks. You diss the dead. And the reward for the blood sacrifice is through the streaming companies. They know the body is real. Because now more bodies is going to drop. You know, back in the days, it was Tupac reporting, and all our hip-hop artists were reporting what was going on in the hood. And to quote Tupac, he said, if I keep talking about this, somebody going to come clean it up. But that's not the goal anymore. These kids, ain't, they're not acting like they want it to be cleaned up. Some of them are. Believe it or not, you have a lot of them reaching out to me like, yo, you changing my, you changed my life. Because some of them need to hear it. Everybody not going to hear it. Sometimes some of them have to go through the fire to learn. But some of them, for the most part, they're hearing. And now they're saying, I don't know what to do because it's on. And I got to tell them, live life as if you're on the run. And stay dangerous at the same time. time. Because you know what the consequences is. The beef is already sparked. You still live in the same neighborhood. You have nowhere to move. What other options do you have a kid that's trapped in a culture? You know, one, one thing that, that's for sure you want to change your life, sometimes you got to change your environment. And the hood is undefeated. Even for rappers who stay there, undefeated. They stay around their hood. One day you hear, rest in peace. Where was he at? It was in the hood. So with that mindset, was that how you looked at Takashi 6 9 as it's, one of those kids. Takashi 6 9 is a billboard in the right hands for why you shouldn't be in the gang. He was kidnapped by gang culture. This dude was on his way to being possibly one of the 
a rock and roll hip hop rap star because his rap is kind of like rock and roll to me. Right. He looked like a rock and roll star. You got dudes like Mel, Shoddy, Hoff, Nuke. Right. These are not regular dudes. Right. These are strong dudes. Mm-hmm. Shoddy was supposed to protect that boy from that lifestyle. Shoddy was supposed to also reap the rewards. Of protecting him. Of protecting him and living life like you, you achieve paradise on, on earth. Most of us is living hell on earth. You accomplishing your half now, the American dream. But you trapped. Right. But this, this is where we differ in opinions. Because I don't see that. There's some people who bump into the devil and they look and go, oh, this is the devil. I got to get up out of here. And there's some people that go, oh, I've been looking for you. Can we do some things together? And I feel like Takashi's that kid. They knew what the devil was. He knew what that represented, but he wanted that. He wanted it, and he wanted it so bad, he didn't understand what came with it. He didn't mind, well, can't say he didn't mind that, because I'm sure he didn't appreciate getting kidnapped or appreciate certain situations happening with his family members or you know his family, but to see where he's at now, playing the same games, it makes me feel like you didn't learn. You didn't learn. You wanted that. And that's why some people can't get past the tag, the label that he's wearing now. Because they feel like, no, you wasn't innocent. You played into it. You were happy to be there. You were celebrating be there, being there. You were actually doing things on camera that we didn't see them do to promote your career. You liked it. And now that that situation is over, when we're supposed to see the butterfly now, what are we looking at? The devil. But it's the same old caterpillar. Same old caterpillar. Now he's different. See, what we got to understand is, right, well, I came to a, a understanding. I couldn't wait to sit down with him. A lot of people were sitting up there saying, I'm not going to sit down with a rat. And I'm like, y'all don't really understand what you're saying out of your mouth. Mm. This rat just showed you that he has the power to change the game and recruit your children by feeding the ones that's starving. Mm. This rat. It's showing has, you the climate. Has, has, has 30 million of your children worshiping him, and you telling me that he's not worthy of sitting down with Yo, when he, he has the brain of your babies? Yo, what, when I saw that clip, bro, I said, this is going to set off a chain reaction. And I already see other people who about to take all types of deals to get out their situation prepping the public. Prepping them for it. But it's gonna happen. Cause now you say, oh, he can't, people still ride. You could still, oh, I, right. yeah, I did know a couple OGs that did this. Hip hop brats everywhere. Niggas running around snitching like, just don't care. It's <laughs> crazy. It's <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, I don't see that. I don't, with, with that part, I know what you're saying. And that's why I say, Hassan, like, protect Hassan Campbell at all costs. Because the righteousness in you, you see that. All right, even if I don't get to him, I get to all the kids that's, t that's watching him. But I'm like, he don't want you to get to them. He did. We stopped, we stopped the conversation and where it was going. If you watched that interview, WAC 100 oh, yeah. debunked mm -hmm. everything that I was trying to do, and that's what he was there for. He sabotaged 
That, that interview was the most childish interview ever in the history of niggerdom. Mm. It was the most ignorant, like, didn't make no sense interview I've ever done and hope and pray to God I've never, ever, ever sit down with such stupi stupidity. If whack wasn't there, the conversation would have been more powerful. But if you notice in the conversation with the young boys, how I was talking to them and they changed from being the gangsters to know I'm a man, I'm a this, and they started talking and speaking with maturity. Whack didn't like that. You got to understand, son, Takashi 6 9 at this point, once you work for the feds, you forever work for them. The feds, feds. At this point, Takashi 6 9 might be the youngest CIA agent ever in the history of rappers. Mm. It's not just a rapper anymore. This game. Think, is he the youngest? You got to understand, Takashi just flopped. He sat out for two years or whatever. It actually wasn't two years, mm -hmm. but his music, his last music flopped. So now, he comes back at a time. Let me show you, because I sit back and I watch and I study. D-Thing, hey Flock, them crews in the Bronx been warring. And they brought the music back to the Bronx so much to where that you see Cardi coming to the Bronx. You see um, Nicki Minaj coming to the Bronx. Mm -hmm. This is where it's at right now. They, they doing drill now. Right. I put so much of a limelight on drill music and the deaths to where DJ Drewski decided to speak out. And I don't care what nobody say. I'm taking credit for that. He decides to speak out and say, I'm not playing it no more. Which leads to the mayor saying, I'm about to pull your music off of every platform. Right. Which leads to Mayno and a few others coming out and having a meeting with the mayor. Well, that part I didn't understand. Oh, I understood it clearly. Because they're not drill rappers. I understood it clearly because you know why? Once you take the drill rap, next is the gangster rap. What's the difference between the two? The drill rap, I think, it's, it's an aggressive, it's an aggressive nature. Gangster rappers, you know, you you gonna rap about things that you went through, or whatever. But drill rap is like, the frequency of it is like kill, 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 kill. Right. Now, 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 now. For real. You dig what I'm saying? Like gangster rap, there's certain Jay Z songs. I know he's reminiscing. He's been through it. Right. Drill is like, let's go. It's time to go. It's a marching theme. It's a marching theme. It's the death. It's the death drum. Yeah. It's the death beat. It activates the death frequency. It does, and it's like it don't just activate you. There's a cause for the kill. Yo, that nigga just said such and such about King Vaughn. He just said something about FBG Duck. Word, he said F Pop Smoke. We still grieving over them. It's on. Mm. Shorty went in the studio. I forget his name. Came out the studio. He put the song, a snippet of the song. They hit him. Forget the young boy name. I've been doing stories back to the back, back to the back, back to this. back on these topics. All Next right. thing you know, okay, you don't hear so much about these drill rappers getting hit anymore after the police got deep thing. Five guard. We don't see him here today. The fallout between me and Five Guard stemmed from me speaking on the older dudes fell in K-Flock. This dude posted all over the internet, which I hope it don't come back and bite him at trial, how he had his gun, he was taunting his enemies, he ends up walking past a block, maybe barbershop stores, whatever. His op come outside, runs up on him. Allegedly, he kills him. Allegedly. He's in jail now. Right. So it went from saying not guilty to pleading self-defense. Where there's a whole lot of evidence on the internet to convict this boy, to understand that his drill culture of music is deaf culture. But well, we know how New York play. There's no, there's no, there's no, own, no, own, there, there is no own self-defense in New York. Look, Remy Ma told me when she was fighting her, her case, somehow Buster Rhymes, Ja Rule, and Lil Wayne and her all had court on the same day. Wow. Like, how is this even possible? Like, we're in different court. But how, how do they line us up like this? 
We know how New York play. They're going to make an example. They did it to Lil Wayne, the height of his career. Ja Rule. New York. So, you know, my, my reason for bringing up that is to show how hard I've been going. Five Guard took it personal. A lot of people were taking what I have to say personal. But now it's the point where when you see so many of your children dying, you have to draw the line. It's a liquor bottle and a candle. Liquor bottle Next. and a candle. Enough is enough. And it's like, it's, for me, silence is approval. For God to have given me such a big platform and for me not to use my voice, it's like, I, don't, I feel like in my day and my time in the streets, I was one of the most, you know, get busy dudes for the devil, a rebel without a cause. Now I feel like I'm getting busy in a different way, the most greatest way that you possibly could by using your voice. My voice is my sword. You can't stop everybody. But if these kids hear you speaking through that speaker and you can catch them and calm them, you can save a life. That's a fact. And this is what I'm trying to use my platform for. Now I realize in order to reach the youth, you have to sometimes deal with celebrity gossip. No, celebrity no, gossip. I, I, you know, I totally understand what it is. You got to play in traffic. Yeah. I'm not going to go to where nobody's at <laughs> and start preaching. Right. We got to go to where it's hot, where it's thick. Jesus was with the thieves, the crooks, in the poverty zones, where it's thick. Right. That's where we got to go sometimes. The spell that they done weaved and made everybody pay more attention to this than the shit that we doing to fuck your whole lives up. Pay more attention to this. Sometimes the message has got to go there. I understand that. It's like when you watch the movie Troy and the little boy say to Achilles, do you see that guy? He's really big. I wouldn't fight him. He said you would never be great then. Right now I feel like this is the greatest fight that I'm ever going to fight. And um, I'm going to live my life with no regrets. Because at the end of the day, when them young boys be sitting up there saying, even some of the grown men, I didn't see things that way. You saved my life. This is the, this is, this is the blessing within that. Right. The money doesn't mean nothing because the reality of it is, I can tell you right now, the controversy that's coming off of this Takashi act, whack situation, I've never gotten the views that I've gotten in one month. And it's 28 day, day Last year, I got a check for 63000 one month, 50 something thousand the next, back to back. Mm -hmm. Ever since I've been speaking on certain topics, chop that down to pennies. Yeah, I see it. You know, we have these conversations. Right. Yeah, I talk about this. The views ain't hitting. It ain't moving. It gets, my um, new videos are getting demonetized. We know what it is. We know that there's a, there's a greater, like, we think we're seeing the enemy around us. No. <laughs> it's up there looking down like, yeah, I see which way they're going. All right. Move this, move this, move this. This is what's going on out here. Y'all don't understand the type of fight that's really being fought. I don't think y'all get it. But when you see people like me and Hassan sitting up here, speaking our truths and giving you factual information, no hype, not doing what's cool. Y'all gotta realize, like, yo, what's the, what's the future of this? And what's the future of that? Who do you think is really living more comfortably? Somebody with millions, but they gotta watch their back for the rest of their lives? Or guys like us to speak our truth and walk around without a fear? Your old Jesus fucking up. We here. We here for you. Just tune in. Get some of this message. But we do differ on certain things. That room that you sat in, I felt like 
you were the odd man out. You had three people in that room who made a lot of money off of promoting gang culture. The door. <laughs> the door. The nori door. The nori door. It was the nori door. Yeah, I burnt that bitch down. Mm. Set a torch to it. And um, it's in the story, bottom line to it. Mm -hmm. You have academics. You already know he went through the door. Takashi 6 9 went through every door. <laughs> right. He is the epitome, he's the epitome, I feel like, of good and evil. Right. I seen that young boy go to a family and give them a million pesos in the way that the mother cried and the, the husband that can't provide for his family. He became what I tried to speak life into him at that table. I told him, you a king. A lot of cats, I disagree. I said, why? King Leopold the first, the second, and the third were kings. Yeah, Space would agree with you on that. He doesn't agree with kings at all. Kings are horrible Kings people. are horrible people. So it's like, when you call him, when you say he's not a king, this man is a millionaire. This boy's a millionaire. This boy has the influence over the minds of your children more than you do. So actually, if you wanted to use their terminology, because I believe there's only one God, the Most High, but if you want to say he is a God to your children over you, the parents, and you're going to tell me that a, sit, a sit down with this young boy that's changing the rules, changing the games, and on a path to self-destruction, right? Because Takashi 6 9 was in that room. Yeah, he came in with a lot of Brooklyn dudes with Bushwicks from Bushwick. Mm -hmm. But what it didn't come out on camera is that behind the scenes, out through the doors, I said, yo, I got to go use the bathroom. Oh, you got to use the bathroom? You can't hold your piss? What, you didn't want me to see all the security out there? Because I didn't see them. They seen them. I didn't see him. So when I went out there, it was like, what the? F yeah. So you got security to watch these young boys, but you acting like you outside by yourself because you making security stay off a of camera. So you're protected when you go into these places and you acting like you outside. Listen, I never once thought that he was stupid. I never once thought he was stupid. I've been here for years, and he's not doing nothing new. He ain't doing nothing new. Been hearing this for years. This is how they move. This is how they move. Yeah, okay. All right. Got the young boys in front. I'm the shepherd, but the wolves all around. They're helping the herd move at the same time. But what you're seeing is the shepherd and the sheep's loyalty. You're not seeing the wolves just helping them herd the whole thing mm -hmm. along the way. You dig what I'm saying? Right. I got a video that I uploaded tonight. Mm -hmm. I ain't really want to get into him getting somebody sucker punching him in the club. Like, scratch that. We don't even know if that's real or fake. There's a young lookalike that looks like Dirk. Dirk, yo. I saw this. He invites mm -hmm. this young boy to come put on a King Vaughn jacket and... Under the guise of another YouTuber. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, my whole thing is, I got the itchy throat. My whole thing is like this, right? Like I told Takashi at that table, I said, you have the power over them young boys that Shadi had over you. Was you listening? He takes the young boy... Now, you pulls him in, he's, sca he's scary, he's skeptical. For one, he likes Dirk. For two, he has to go back to the kill zone. You sent the little dude that's a good kid back to the kill zone, knowing the consequences if them Chicago boys or anybody from those blocks catch him. You just painted a bullseye on his head. This was the reason for me sitting down with Takashi to be the voice of reasoning. And Same old caterpillar. In Islam, right, once you 
take your shahada. You are forgiven for all your past sins. This is why a lot of dudes in the feds do not like Muslims because they take the rat sin. If God forgave you, I have the obligation to forgive, forgive you, you too. Also. Right. So I come sit down with you with a message. And that's all I wanted to do. WAC 100 already had it in his mind that they were supposed to go rival. All of them were supposed to confront me together because I made videos on all of them at that table, right. according to WAC, when the, he went to Clubhouse. So why did you, and why would you accept this invite? Because I know when see my whole my whole thing is like this, right? I figured like, okay, this is another platform for me to use my voice. Now, until I got there, I got signs. I knew I knew Wack was a uh, was 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 a decrepit bastard. That's why I recorded him. You would never hear a math and Hassan Campbell recording ever. As I was gonna ask you, I was like, yo, you ever recorded him? Ever. Right. You will never hear a math. Like, you gotta understand something, right? WAC 100 just blackmailed Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. He announced it. I made a video on that. He announced it that he got the tape. I want the tape. I got the tape mm -hmm. that he got from, from Ray J, the sex tape. Kim Kardashian went on the internet crying. He still manages the game. Manages the game. Ray J, he got the tape from Ray J. Because the tape is with Kim Kardashian and Ray right. J. Ray J, he manages him too. So now, Kim Kardashian says one of her kids see an a advertisement for the new tape. She starts crying. She calls Kanye. Next thing you know, Kanye's making a song with Game. So wait, wait, wait. Let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's piece this Slow together. Slow down. Yeah. Let's piece this together. Yeah. Wack puts the squeeze on Ray J for the rest of the footage. Mm-hmm. Ray J, he don't want no problems. He gives it up. Right. Game is still his most successful artist. Right. He puts that information. When I heard that, I was like, it's got to be a troll. But I didn't put the pieces together. Wack used to do security and manage Ray J. Now, you go look at my last Instagram post that I posted, my video I posted today. Kim Kardashian and Kanye's talking, he brings the tape to her, gives her the tape. And Kanye says on the tape, this is a big, this will be the last time I get extorted. Cause this whole time we sitting there like, why is Kanye asking for his wife back, but doing a song with someone who violated her on record the craziest? Because I, I was confused by that. I was like, is he, is, he, is he using this divorce as a promo tool for everything? Like, I, I don't think that's Kanye. Kanye's a little too much hard on the sleeve. So why would he have game who had a, a whole verse going crazy on Kim Kardashian? Because he had to get the sex tape back. Because he had to get the tape. So now you see game and Kanye play good cop, bad cop. Mm. And who looked up? And, and, and then let's take it to the to the point to where that you got game sitting up there saying Kanye West just did more for me than Fifty Cent, Jimmy Iovine, and Dr. Dre. That bag was crazy. And I wasn't. But, you know what? But it, I don't think it's just the bag. If you really from the streets, you were extorting somebody. You got to make them feel comfortable with it. So they don't feel like they got to get you back. Show them a little bit of love. They're like, oh, it's just part of the game. So him saying that, it's a crazy statement. It's going to go, it's travel everywhere. We did a, 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 a whole um, hour on that. But he was just trying to make them feel comfortable with what they just got away with. This dude is the same dude that is behind the scandal. He got $800,000 out of De La Hoya coming from his mouth because he has a sex tape on the Mexican boxer, the champion, De La Hoya. 
Now, he never released the tape. He just released the footage. I mean, the, the, the images, the pictures with him with the, um, the G-string on, dressed in the high heels, the pumps. Whack, according to Whack 100. Did this to Delahoya. According to Whack 100, in his own voice that I put up on the internet, mm -hmm. he has tapes of Nipsey Hussle doing a threesome with his baby mother. And he alleges that there was gay acts in this video. Now, let me say this again. Alleges. Allegedly. The message is not about whether I believe Nipsey was gay or not. To each his own. If that's his business, that's his business. But we're not going to put that on Nip. Nah. What we're going to say and we're going to put out there, this is the message that up until Nipsey died, this man is admitting to me on the phone that he was blackmailing him. Black boy. Yo, he's blackmailing him with a sex tape and admitting to after this man died that they was going after 30%. Big U told him, allegedly, to go get 30% of his assets. Now that part, I don't believe. Well, here's the thing. They're in court. The gang, the set, sued for 30% of the marathon. How? Look it up. They sued, so it's real. In court. Who did they sue? The, well, um, the estate, which is probably the family. I'm not 100% sure. You sure it wasn't, you sure it wasn't uh, the business and not the estate? Well, here's the thing. I'm not sure, but what I do know, even Wack at that point said, Big U, why you didn't do this to Nipsey while he was alive? See, here's the thing about Wack. After hearing all this stuff, I can't trust, because there were other things that were said. Right. Things like, I sold guns. To these sets. Oh, we was getting to that. CIA, Snowfall. And now, this is on the internet. Don't know if it's true or not. You know what it is. It's Cap Central out here. You never know. But this was said. So why would I believe anything he says about people that he hates, including Nipsey? The better question is, why would this dude feel comfortable? We're saying it to you. We're saying no. We're saying it. Period. With pride. Why would he sit up there and say, out of his own mouth, that he sold guns between the Crip sets, and he don't give a damn if they kill each other? That was the purpose. That's government. People don't understand. I knew that the devil was going to reach out to me. I just had to figure out how to deal with them. Mm. There's more. At what point did you feel like, you know what? This guy's kind of wild. I feel like this is a play. I need to record these conversations. When I listened to him and how he talked about putting the pressure on all these dudes, like, there was so much before I started recording where I said, nah, I got to record this because this nigga's evil. And if you look, if I show you the actual video while I'm recording, you'll see my face cringing in disgust. Mm. So I, I was on to him from the jump. I just had to figure out why me? What are you reaching out to me for? Right. Why, why? you? Why me? I'm a paranoid dude. Super paranoid. Right. So automatically, my mind is all the way left field. Right. Wack is not somebody that you can trust. And even still, he has this confidence while he's still on Clubhouse, knowing that there's so many people in, in, in Cali that want his head right now. Mm. Like when you see me arguing with him, I said, you a dead man walking. He's not, he don't care. And there's so many things floating around about this guy. <sighs> I don't heard stories about, you know, cases going away and this actual... Audio of him saying, uh, the feds owed me a favor. Who says that? He talks so much, he don't know when to shut up because he's, he's cocky and he's confident 
in itself. But the reality of it is, when you dealing with a nigga like Wack, something, something just ain't right. So at this point in time, anybody that stands with him, they know what he is. They know what he is. What is he? CIA, FBI, COINTELPRO, definitely deep cover. Could he just be a capping ass nigga? Could that, could that be a possibility? Like, Who have you ever seen get away with extorting De La Hoya? De La Hoya is another level. But it's what I'm saying. We don't know that story to be true. What we do know is game to the record after he said that shit about the Kanye tape. Why would no, you, the Kim tape. Why would you, yo, who feels comfortable even saying they did something like that? Why would you want to do something like that? Like, that's, I don't know. I'm just different. Mm -hmm. You claiming, which, yo, Nipsey mentally was suffering from the level of mental extortion and rape they was doing to him. And then you say this with pride. The man died and he still can't rest in peace. What the hell? Man, did, did your wife tell you she was fantasizing about slurping Nipsey? Whack? Because that level of hate is not understood. Yeah. No, but in a way, it is. We're talking about someone involved with gang culture. You don't know how many of his homies done fallen to the wayside off of somebody else's situation. You dig what I'm saying? Right. And that's what keeps that shit propelling. You think these young boys is fighting because of their beef? Half of LA, them young boys ain't killing for their beef. They killing because of somebody got killed 25 years ago. So, so, so how do you explain, like, he goes on a podcast, Adam22, Academics, mm -hmm. Gilly, Wallow, and then you humiliate Gilly by bringing up Beanie punching him in his face and Birdman leaving him because he was embarrassed that Gilly ain't even fight he ran, right? Gilly and Wallow was two of the dopest voices right. that try to influence the kids with positivity. Right. Why would you humiliate them like that? See, I see Gilly in the ring. There's a line. There's a line that you don't cross when I know you're being disrespectful. It's one thing to ask a question. Right. There's another thing, like how he told everybody, oh, I, 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 I said you got effed in a butt. No, you did not say that to me because the interview would have been over at that point. point. And even if I decided to take the manly route and just walk out, that's what you would have saw. Right. But... You telling everybody this is what was started the, the rift in Clubhouse. You didn't do that when we was face to face. I saw there was a lot of dudes in that room, but I also made them understand when you see me say to Takashi, I said, "Listen, what are you gonna do if we get into it right now?" I wanted the boys with them to understand I was talking to them. If we get into it right now, y'all pull y'all guns, we pull our guns, and bodies start dropping. Are you going to tell? He wouldn't answer. Here comes Wack to, sa to, to save him again. He would not answer. What did Wack say to save him? He kept cutting me off. No, why are you doing this? He just yelling and arguing. And every time I had a valid point, this is what he did. Well, I mean, I mean why, why couldn't he just lie? Why not? He wouldn't say nothing. Because prior to that, he just said, fuck the streets. And I did what I had to do to save my family. So did he I save his family? To save my family. And he bringing up Ish from Treyway. This is a dude that lent, the, lent these brothers his car. Had Takashi in his house, drove them around. He was just the driver. He's in jail. I tell Takashi, they didn't like this. Ish in jail. He wanted, to, he wanted to know if you would look out for his kids. Those are my words. Ish words was, yo, you took me away from my kids. Now I'm trying to talk to Danny, the young boy. And figure out, are you gonna make, are you willing to make this right? Apologize. Whack takes the lead. The gang member. Man, F him and his family. Why the streets don't take care of him? The streets didn't take the Takashi, the streets didn't take that man away from his kids. 
I mean, I understand. I see you feeding other people kids, riding up, pulling the cameras out. Do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. Mm. But your man that didn't do nothing to you, he wasn't laying down with your girl. You took him away from his kids, and his kids is acting out because they missed their father. So my whole thing was- What was his response? Wax said, fuck him. So Takashi said, fuck him. And see that right there, you can't take that off a of camera. You saying Wax said it first? Yes. And then he, he doubled down. Yes. Wax pushed for that. Why his mans ain't doing his mans is in jail. Thanks to 6 9 But do you think 6 9 can show any type of remorse for what he's done? Do you think he can show that on ish, the camera? Whether he feels it or not, ish, do you think he can show it? Ish would have been the one where he could sit up there and say, you know what? He deserves... An apology, at least minimum. But he's not going to get that because Wack is here now to throw the monkey wrench in. On top of the fact that Wack whole thing, according to what he had to say inside the clubhouse, he had to derail me. The thing was to get me there. The first time I went to academics, like when I came here, I came by myself. So they was under the influence. There was the, the thing that I was going to come by myself. Mm -hmm. Wack sat on Clubhouse on a Thursday. We were supposed to come Friday, but it was switched to Saturday. He was like, yo, when I pulled up in the Clubhouse, he muted my mic. I want to talk to that nigga. I'll see him on Friday. I ain't like the way that sound. I'm like, he's switching energy for some reason. Like, okay. So if He wasn't trying to show... The temperature. Right. Right. So, as you Because this is after you had com phone conversations with him, right? Conversations with him. Even when we got in there, mm -hmm. Takashi ain't come in yet. I think Takashi was waiting to make his appearance after I came in. Right. So, I comes in, Wax sitting there. He starts looking around. He see I got my brothers with me. He's like, okay. Conversation, beautiful conversation. Even in the, in, even in the argument... He didn't give me no energy until I actually seen the tapes. His energy, the way he was looking. I'm looking at Takashi. He's sitting with his back. Then he's breaking it down at Clubhouse. Yeah, because I had my back and the whole time I had my hand in my hoodie on my shit. Like, dog, you never gave that indication when we was talking on the but phone. This like, is what I got to ask you. Do you just believe that he's a capping ass nigga? I believe that from his actions... Because I, I say this because when I talk to the biggest platforms, I get, oh no, we don't we don't touch nothing with like one hundred attached to that. Like we don't we don't even bother. Like they don't even acknowledge that. It's like we don't even know if it's true. Or it's not. But we can't tell at this point, so we don't even cover it. Why? Right. And see, that's the problem because it's like. Everybody's like, yo, it's got to be fake. Is it marketing? That's what I look at when I see, okay, say something about Nori, big platform. Say something about Gilly, big, big platform. platform. You're hanging around academics, big, big platform. platform. You're bringing Hassan Campbell, big platform. Now, your numbers might not match up. But your following is loyal. Loyal. Now you look at it, right? He didn't know I was taping him. What people got to understand, what they miscalculated is the fact that... What was the thing that he said that you said, oh, hell no, I can't trust this nigga. I got to tape him. What was it? The way he was dragging Big U? Mm-hmm. And then, yo, dragging him. And he gonna talk about, you. Yeah, you didn't call, you come on, son. You gonna really sit up there and say you didn't call Big U on the three-way. On the three-way with me on the phone. After dragging this dude. And I'm like, yo, this is supposed to be his man. Man. Mm. Nah. This just ain't. And like, first and foremost, right, you don't even know me. Why are you giving up so much? 
It's like you trying to get too close, close. nigga. I'm from this street. You trying to make me make me feel comfortable. Exactly. With following you into something. Understand something, right? Yeah. I couldn't even tell you the celebrities that I be on the phone with because they tell me to keep a secret. You will never hear another tape of anybody again unless it's a situation well, I got a beef with a dude, and I think he might get on the air and talk about... And to talk crazy. You know, talk crazy like, yeah, yeah I was talking to this nigga like that. I mean, that I would be the reason one, to do that. I recorded yeah. one other person because we was beefing. Mm -hmm. And I felt like he was going to talk reckless, which he didn't. And I told you who that was. Yeah, and I did the same thing. And, and, I, and outside of that, mm -hmm. I would never... I don't like the feeling of recording anybody. That's not my thing. But at the same time... To catch an agent at his own bag of tricks, the dude that had the tapes on Nipsey, the dude that had the tapes on Kim Kardashian, the dude that had the tapes on Oscar De La Hoya, the dudes that recorded a conversation that caused Beanie Siegel to get knocked out. Him in the game. Took the audio over to Meek Mills. Tiffy Bay knocks him out. He almost started a war in Philly. Mm. How y'all let this dude get away with this? This dude been crushing the East Coast with this, with this BS that he's doing. And it's like after I caught, I caught the King Cobra and put my foot in his neck, everybody was like, yo, they feel like I'm the savior of Rome. Because everybody is tired of, you got to see the messages. I well, well, allegedly they say he got with game after... Purchasing the tape of Game getting knocked out. Why wouldn't he? You got to check in. On the West Coast, they more disciplined than we are. When you step, they know the hotels, the villas, everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. Pop Smoke didn't check in, so he got checked out. It's just that simple. They knew he was there. Rest in peace, Pop. And the reality of it is all these dudes that Claim to be somebody in New York. Why is it that New Yorkers have to check in? I don't even think people understand how many New York brothers is being extorted when they get to that West. But you got to understand they're being extorted because <clears throat> they're utilizing the notoriety of something that started in the West. See, nowadays, the reason why a lot of these rappers, if you haven't noticed, feel like they have to claim or be a part of the gang it's because you gain the notoriety and the history of that game. So you could be a sucker. <laughs> you could be somebody that was never outside. You was just inside listening to rap all day long and writing and pushing your pen, and you got really good at it. But you ain't got no history. How do you get the history now? You claim the game. Now people hear your name, they hear the gang, they know what the gang, the gang is known for, you get associated, now you have credibility. You gotta pay for that credibility. You wanna throw it up? You gotta pay for that credibility. Everybody, everybody it didn't start out here. Well, I got, you know what, at the end of the day, I guess whatever Pop Smoke was claiming, he, he wasn't checking in. And I respect him for not checking in. I just hate the way he had to go out, man. Yeah, I, I hate that too. You know, and it's like at some point in some time, it's like, yo, the colonizer, right? The dude, the dudes that controlled our music, niggas ain't making them check in. Mm. Jimmy Irene is walking around without a care in the world. Game ain't grabbing by the back of his neck when he walked past him, like, yo, you don't see me. Mm. Now just imagine if another rapper, like 40 Glock, shout out to 40 Glock. Would have walked past him. We already seen what he did to him. As a matter of fact, it's on the tape. We're whack bragging about what he did to him. And it's like, yo, so it's no whole bars on each other. But y'all next to him, y'all sit next to these people in these rooms. And you know what's crazy? I don't, I want people to imagine a world where that wasn't happening where it wasn't you see someone that looks like you and that's how you respond. Where you wasn't putting the pressure on the people that look like you. That's not what Tupac wanted. 
everybody cries over to to this day. Oh, Tupac is dope. Tupac was dope. Tupac was it. Thug Life was not supposed to be that. It wasn't even. Thug Life wasn't a gang. It was supposed to be a circle, an organization, a brotherhood that came from the same humble beginnings. And he made that clear. And he made that crystal clear. They look at us like gangsters. They look at us like thugs. His they is not today's they. We looking at each other now. We the they. Actually, they, that's see, not see, cool. I got to make something clear, right? A lot of these dudes, they don't look at us like gangsters. There's a definition that comes with gangsters. You know, like when you on a level of a, 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 a Nicky Bonds, mm. when you're playing on that level, mm. when you're playing a, on, on the level of um, them Chicago gangsters, whether it was uh, Dillinger or... Or, um, or, or even the New York Black Spades. Black... There's a there's a level the origination yeah so when you when when you dealing and you looking at gangster the gangsters built and organized what you call Vegas the gangsters set up what they set up as far as with the um with with, with the union uh -huh. with the gangsters the gangsters is the ones that built the Apollo that made moves now you got these regular average Joes you're a thug you are not a gangster you are a crack seller. There is a difference. Gangsters have organized crimes. You're selling crack out of your mother's house. There is a difference. There's a difference. So you fall up under the guidelines of hood booker. You're not a gangster. Know the difference. They don't see you as a gangster. They don't want you to organize like the brother on in Philly that got locked up. What's the brother name on? He had the crew out there. In, damn, what's the brother name? The rapper. A.R. Ab. A.R. Ab Tell is me. a gangster. You yeah. know why would make A.R. Ab a gangster? He started going into real estate, buying property. That's what makes you a gangster now. That's organized crime. They sit up there saying, no, you are not going to create the next Black Wall Street. The other brother down south that was selling the weed, I forget his name. He just on Rollo. Was it, was it Rollo? Rollo, Rollo, Rollo. No. There's a brother down, um, I forget the brother's name, I think it's Rollo. He was selling um, drugs down there, a lot of weed. He bought the projects down there. He just recently copped out to 10 years. He's been in the feds for a minute. These are gangsters now, gangster rappers that's actually making moves. Right. Hustling in the street, making rules. They're organized. In order to be a gangster, you have to have organized crime with money. You have to be able to back that. You can be a gang member, cool, you're broke. You can even be a gang member with a couple of dollars, but once you start organizing, you become a gangster. Well, here's the thing, and this is why I'm so upset with battle rap. I battled someone considered or looked upon or carries the image of a gangster. And I broke down the Clean Neighborhood Act. I broke down how all of you niggas are now considered terrorists in the United States. That's why you see a lot of these guys getting swooped up and held. No bail. No bail. Because, let's keep it real. If, if we found out the Taliban was across the street, when they pick up the Taliban, ain't nobody fighting for them. Nope. Why? Because they got that big T word on them. Once you got that T word on you, oh, bro, Guantanamo Bay, you get lost. You get lost. Ain't no judge or lawyer going to see that word and be like, yeah, I want to be a, I want a part of this. No. And all of them are classified on that. When I did my homework on people, was that, I like to be factual with the things that I said. I did my homework and word got back to me. Don't ask about this person no more. They're classified as a terrorist. I said, what? Mm. They said, yeah, you kind of making it hot. Don't, don't ask about that person. I said, okay. They all like that. They all like that.
that when I see so much promotion going on, I got to wonder, do these niggas know what they're doing or who they're following? Right. Who's in charge of this shit? I couldn't dream of sitting someplace and telling you I, I sold guns. Duh, 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 duh. I couldn't. So I got to wonder, is it cat? Is it entertainment? Is it real? Or is it, is it something else? Well, if you listen to Wack 100 on his clubhouse, he's telling everybody he's coming for my page. That's why I didn't release all of the audio. I said, okay, knock the page down. I use the rest to build up a new one. Mm -hmm. Let's play chess. I got all my pages already. He's going to make me that much more powerful. Plus, on top of that, let's be real. This had the most controversy that we've seen in years since Kobe died. Right. Over everything else. Even the baby and all the shit that he just going through. They put the footage out of him in the store killing the dude. It didn't even add up to this shit right here. Mm. Most controversial story. My subscribers didn't go up at all. I was already, I was already, what, nine thousand away from owning four hundred thousand. So there's a cap on my platform. I broke the algorithm. They was putting my page on a decrease, a decline. Every time they do that, something controversial comes back around with me, and I break the algorithm. Look at the look at the views on my last video. Where we at right now? Where we at right now? Because I know I had 49,000 in three hours flying. They started making my videos decrease after the first, after the first like uh, 45 minutes, mm -hmm. it went on a decrease. I watched my videos, so I knew I know when they start doing I, I, you speak on certain topics, it's like you ain't got to go through the door or say your soul. You're going to say some shit? And they're going to teach you through your check. All right, this is how you're going to sell your soul. Ain't no more talking about that. COVID. Mm. <laughs> COVID. You ain't Leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> you ain't going to be talking. You ain't going to say certain things. You're not going to talk about wars that's going on right now. That too. They're going to hit you. That too. So now you got to learn how to speak in code because they ain't playing. Right. And the reality of it is, it's like academics have said to me, like, your platform ain't going to go but so far with you talking about these topics that I got this far. But now y'all don't put the spotlight on the things that he I'm talking that about. Too. Hell yeah, he said that. Got him on tape. We recording behind the scenes and talking and stuff like he told me. Like, yo, you're not going to go that far. Takashi 69 used me to come out of the slums. He drops... And he streamed the most out of, um, who was it, Cardi, um, Fabio Foreign, everybody. He killed them. This is a dude that just flopped. He used the controversy of having me at that table. I was only a stepping stone for him. You have me come on the day that you drop. He, he missed his flight. So it wasn't Friday. It was that Saturday. Look at the controversy that came with this. Right now, his name is ringing all over the place. Again, nobody was accepting him. COVID had niggas broke. He still had money. When his man said, <laughs> you know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. Yo, this the only rap we jacking, you heard? You know what? How did you <laughs> feel, bro? Like, for one, I couldn't say what I wanted to say because every time I start talking, WAC 100 comes to the rescue. Rescue, right. Let's two, keep it ignorant. Two, I had to, I had to make a decision mm -hmm. at the table. I said, I already see. Let me not play with these young boys too much because I got dudes that's family men that's willing to go all out. Now I got to make a decision. Let me walk a fine line. Mm -hmm. Because you could tell them little niggas was holding. 
And you could tell we had legal guns around us. Mm -hmm. But me, I'm a different nigga. If Wack would have stalled on me, I would have sent them to the afterlife. Mm. He wouldn't have made it out that building. Mm. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it's like, just understand who you're dealing with. I don't just be talking about it. You put your hands on me, I'm going to turn green, especially when I know you brought me here for that. And you just lined me? No, I'm sorry. I'm going to turn green. And it's over. Hulk is going to smash. And that's why I said to Takashi, because I understood... If this happens... If this happens, there's people that's going to have to... Like, my brother just came home from the feds. I'm not trying to tell his daughter I'm the reason why he ain't coming back home again. Right. So there's things that I actually wanted to say that I said, let me just leave... And, and walk a fine line because these young boys ain't even supposed to be at this table. So let me speak. Why do you think they were? Because Takashi wanted to prove a point. And see, they what, didn't... What, what was his point? I, don't, I still don't know. Money is God. That, but at the same time, it was like... Money is God. At one point, you see me, Takashi's talking, and he said, yeah, because King Vaughn was laying on the floor, and he got, uh, uh, uh. And I'm like, you, you, you're breaking my heart right now because I really wanted to flip. Like, why are you doing that? I like King Vaughn. Yeah. I found out about his music after FBG Duck died. Right. And I like both of them. But King Vaughn, I like more. Right. And it's like, I couldn't understand where was you going with this? The conversation started getting confusion, con confusing to me because now you sit up there saying, all right, the moral of the story is they not here because they got caught lacking too. So what Takashi's trying to say now is that I'm really a gangster. It's just that when I got beat up and put in the hospital, I was, I was lacking. I was caught lacking. What would you done in that situation? And I told him, in that situation, it would have never happened to me. Why wouldn't it happen to you? Because I'm never lacking. Shadi would have never did that to my girl, and I would have just been running to the news. Or Harv and, and Nuke wouldn't have just took me. It would have been a fight. Mm. I'm never getting in the car unless my body is limping. You already hit me up. I'm sorry. Or if you, if you knock me out, that's something different. You caught me with a side, it can happen to the best, but you're never going to put me in a situation like that. The conversation with them dudes was asinine. The young boys being at the table, I didn't, I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to figure out well, why they It have. was to show you, I can still do this. Now, I wasn't supposed to say Takashi was a rat because I was supposed to be intimidated by the young boys. I figured that out. That's why you hear me sit up there and say, nigga, you ain't going to make me change the, 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 the game to the rules. Mm -hmm. You are a rat. But at the same time, you have the power of a king and the influence over these children. And as soon as I start to drop a whack 100, nah, I'm just saying, fuck all that. Like, okay, we understand the role that you're playing. You're not going to let me plant a deep seed. So I got to slowly drop the seeds in here as, as soon as I can, when I can, because this is the role that this demonic force is going to play. Right. And um, coming from a gang member that's on Pyru, like dogs. In this conversation, you are breaking all the rules of being a blood. Do you understand what you're doing? And you're deliberately doing this under, uh, in front of a camera as if you have no fear because you are an agent. CIA, FBI, DEA, who sent you? You believe that? I believe firmly that Takashi might go down in history as the youngest CIA agent ever. He's deep cover. I believe WAC 100 is deep cover. I, I wouldn't give him the credit of calling them CIA agents because you have to take, you have to have extensive schooling. You know, you gotta. Nah, they got you, new rules you, you, when it comes to this government shit now. No informants. Formance is one thing. Nah, they gave him a different badge, man. Oh, yeah? And these niggas is working this shit. These niggas got different badges. They doing the same shit that's unheard of. Mm. Like, so he just admitted through a conversation that he sold guns to cause dudes to kill each other. And then I've seen gang members sitting up there saying, yeah, because you did this, that, this, that, this, that. So hold up, you on the wire. <laughs> the clubhouse. And then, and then, and AKA then. AKA the federal No, but he that. talks over the phones, too. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine how many tapes the feds have of whack and he's still running around? He's here for a reason. He has a job to do. He has a job to do. Mm. Just today I can show you a text in my phone 
My wife sent me a text. Somebody hit her up. If you don't want your husband to die, get in contact with me right now. <laughs> the games people play. Listen, man, I don't know if that just comes with YouTube, but like, that should be happening on my side too. And I got to laugh at it. Like, oh, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? What do you, what, what do you think you're doing? Like, motherfuckers like, yo, we coming for you. I'm like, yo, I'm here. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at, son? Uh, whatever. <sighs> but yeah, that's crazy to, to think about. This is why I, I, you're saying he's an agent. Why can't he just be a captain ass nigga? Because... Why can't he just be an entertainer? Because everything that he say have been done and proven to be done. That's not an act. Not everything. We just, we just watched Kanye West. The Kanye West thing. We just seen the footage. He's claiming that, he's claiming that, that, that the 800,000 in the pictures of De La Hoya. He's claiming that. I don't want to never claim something so disgusting. Mm -hmm. Like on some, yo... How do you get to the point to where you get next to a nigga like De La Hoya? Nigga, you deep cover. Mm. He different. He's a different type of nigga. Yeah, He's connected that. to different type of niggas. Like, yo, picture you, all right. Me and, and you. But this is the, and, and the thing that we hurts both, me. Yo, we both go out to Miami, right? Right. And we go meet up with somebody that's down with WAC 100. And this the day, you know what? We ain't never cheated on our wife, but we going to cheat today. Next day, you know, we get in the phone call. The rooms that they lined us up with had cameras. Had cameras all and types of shit. You know, you don't want that coming out to your wife. I don't care how tough you is. It's like, all right. <laughs> nah, I'm a little different. <laughs> how does it, I am too. I'm a little different. I am too. But I you might know call what? in the morning and be like, hey, you know what happened last night? No, nah, but you know what though? <laughs> when you find yourself in a situation and you know you, are, you just had a bad situation and yeah. you know this is the deal breaker. Right. It's like, I can't pay you. But at the same time, you got me. Right. These niggas is disgusting. I don't never want to be the you got me nigga. Mm. Where you got some dirt on somebody with a wife or like, I, yo, if you sword fighting with somebody, that is your business. I don't want the footage. Right. These niggas is different. These dudes is different. They hold, they, they hold set up. Is getting dirt on you to destroy you. But but let's let's be let's be real. Um, there's no man that's perfect. There's no man that's perfect. We found out years later, Martin Luther King. God 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 bless his soul. But we found out, you know, he was a little. He used to get around like Tupac. He's a, you know what I'm saying? He was that guy. Like, women liked him, he liked them back. Question. You know what I mean? Who found out first? Who recorded him? Government. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Government found out, right. and it was less, te less technology. Right. Who's doing it to the black brothers now? Nipsey. Oscar De La Hoya. One of the, argu arguably, Kanye. arguably, one of the greatest MCs ever, Kanye West. Was blackmailed by who? The etymology of words, whack 100. The nigga is whack 100 times. <laughs> Hit him in the head with the headshot. <laughs> Stop playing with me, man. Yo. <sighs> do that. Do you, ever, do you ever feel like all this stuff? was a play. And to what end? Huh. Well, in my head, what I juggle around is I just I just see little things that I don't speak of and I see obviously I got the beast, the shaitan, the daijel, I got I got the attention of the beast. So it's like, yeah, where does it go from here? Because the message is not gonna stop. Until my heart stop. I can't. Right. I don't know how to be silent when there's so much going wrong. If you let evil keep creeping, surely it's going to knock on your door next. So just because you think you go to work and you're raising your children right, evil has an answer for you. You go to the suburbs now, 
that evil, this gang culture. You have kids that don't come from where we come from, but through what they see on TV, they are downloading our pain. Right. <laughs> These niggas is downloading our pain. Right. And they airing shit out as if they got our whole life experience. Mm. Somewhere at the somewhere it has to stop. Somebody has to draw the line. It's like at this point in time in our life, we are living in a critical time because there's not too many frontliners that's holding that front line. And the ones that's coming to the front line, pretending to be on the front line, is grabbing the bag. You already see. Everybody giving me credit. Yo, you a prophet. No, I just could see the play, man. The original, the original Black Lives Matter, Darren Sills, he was executed. Now you get these motherfuckers where even the government is sitting up there telling you, yo, look, and within a couple of years, they got 300 million. One year, they got 90 million. In a few years, they got 300 million. Mansions. Seeing the mothers of victims crying out, well, yo, Look at y'all, calling them out by names. And this is what leads to the conversation. Shout out to Hocus 4 5th, man. I'm from Castle Hill, well, I'm from Soundview. It's like Hocus arguing with my son right now because we friends when they don't want to help the dude. Mm. You don't want to shout his music out. You don't want to retweet or reshare it. But you see him constantly struggling to get his dream. And that goes for all of y'all dudes on Instagram, man. Everybody knows a rapper that's trying to make it. I see all of y'all dudes liking. Instagram is dirty. It shows them, it shows you sitting up there liking math stuff, but you ain't liking my stuff. Mm. And I'm like, wow. So I know you in real life, but you all over math shit, but not mine? And we know each other? <laughs> and you be on the Insta phone like, Instagram I, I love be telling. You? Instagram be telling. Instagram why, is yo, telling. Yo, why you just followed her? <laughs> like, yo, so you're not gonna like nothing? Yo, you know what it felt like? When I actually reached the 400,000 subscribers and the majority of people that said congratulations were strangers. Hey, man. It's, it be like that sometimes. It hurts, but you now it's like, okay, how do you get used to it and not turn into the same sucker? I think um, by understanding people. I think when you understand that some people look at success is exposing. We from the same place. How was you able to do something? And I wasn't. I can't acknowledge you. I can't, I can't, like, yo, this Crown Heights, Brooklyn, forget about it. That's probably the, the most people that like to, Math Hoffa? Yeah, but what I don't understand Brooklyn is rappers? Yo. You can count on one hand how many Brooklyn rappers out of all these dudes that I know that been here because they like to do this. Nah, he not winning. I want to see that because it's exposing. It's saying, we from the same place. You was able to do this, but I wasn't. I feel the way. Rather than saying, he found a way, they say, I feel a way. And they turn away. So, that is what it is. You just got to understand people. When I see that, when I see like the people I know not liking, I'm like, I hope they find a way. Because then they'll understand how I feel. But look, just, just do me a favor, right? Don't ask me for no money. Like, come you on. You ain't don't, sharing, you ain't liking, you ain't, and you want some money. Don't, don't like, <laughs> if it's gonna be like that, don't ask me for don't no money. Don't ask me for no paper, bro. Oh, man. Man. That ain't Niggas that. will give you all types of stories about, about when I'm gonna pay you back. First of all, soon as, that's another thing, too, man. Man, it, it, it is like, what listen, it is. Like, listen, man, if I give you some money, just tell me you still messed up. Don't start ducking and hiding from me and all the rest don't, of that, man. Don't call me Nine back. Nine times out of ten, man, when I gave you the money, I knew I wasn't going to get it back. <laughs> but then I can't get a like, Neva. I can't, get a, a like. I can't get a like and a share and yeah. subscribe. It's crazy. If I'm going to put money in your pocket, if I'm going to be uh, 110% with you, yo, 
Create a Facebook group. Share my videos in it or something so I can keep giving you money. You ain't got to get money one time and run off. Right. Work. Work. Network. But you know what? Um, it, it be the people it's, it's sometimes closest to you that can't take your success. They can't. Day ones, some day ones want to keep seeing you at day one. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> right. It ain't going to work. <laughs> Good luck. You now, know, I got to ask you. Um, was this a righteous cause? Always. I, so knew, I knew. Was this always your plan? Because some people would say you only exposed that information after whack turned and started saying crazy shit to you on Clubhouse. My only goal and mission, I would have never put the own um, that audio out. It's just not my thing. It was insurance. Right. My number one goal was to actually sit down. I've been on the phone with Takashi 69 since he's been home, having deep conversations with this brother and trying to keep him out of certain things, trying to make him realize that his platform, he, he, the influence that he had over our children, he was always the goal. Academics was, okay, I'm going to do this before we get to Takashi. I didn't realize that Takashi pretty much seen me as, I don't know what he seen me as. He always told me, my wife love you, she love your kids, and he always watched all my, my videos. I don't know, Takashi is a mastermind. I had to accept that. You are not dealing with a dummy. You're dealing with a nigga that dumbs himself down. So when you actually realize you're dealing with somebody that dumbs himself down, he is a chess player for real. Right now, he used me. I don't know if Takashi gonna ever call me again. At this point in time, it's like, just watch my videos. Because if it ain't go, if, if it's not gonna be no change, or the change that comes is gonna be a publicity stunt, don't waste my time. Because the reality of it is, Satan is not invited in my house. And I don't wanna be invited or go to Satan's house. You understand? Yeah. At no point in time, I don't want to go to Satan's house. Right. But if I can save Danny and make him understand that there's a balance that comes in life and, and he can balance that out for these young kids and this next generation, then that's what I'm doing. Right. Because the reality of it is, there was a time that I was 10 times worse than him. Not as far as him being a rat. But being in the streets. But being in the streets. Right. And it's like some people on these platforms or, or rather in the streets can't accept the fact that my resume in the streets supersedes their shit. Nah, it just can't be that real. His life just can't be that epic. Everything is like, nigga, right. I got, we all have flaws in our own way. I am not proud. I hate what I used to be. That's why I despise what, what, what black America has become. So I use my voice, even though I know it puts me in danger, to speak out against the top rappers, the top gang bangers, and show the disloyalty in that shit. I listened to an audio just recently with Dada. Dada was second after OG Mac, right. exposing all the top bloods, the first generations that's out here right now, and telling you that they're full of shit. And some of them are COINTEL Pro, mm. which, I, which I've been saying. But nevertheless, it's like, listen to the disloyalty amongst the ranks. That's for behind the scenes. Now you don't have gangsters, gang bangers gang banging anymore or keeping the code of the street. They on the internet spilling it all and dissing each other. You might see a blood dissing a blood but hanging out with a crip. crip. Yeah. You niggas is disgusting. And let me be the first to tell you, if nobody else don't tell you, you dudes is disgusting. Running around looking like red Power Rangers <laughs> when all the kids is go, go Power Ranger. Like, damn. Give these young boys something to look up to. You dudes is 55 years old, 45 years old. That means you're a senior citizen. It's time for you to go get your rectum checked to make sure you ain't got colon cancer, old nigga. 
<laughs> Go get that colonic, you heard? Somebody got it like, yo, come on, man. Not, but, but what's the answer, Hassan? And this is, this is the big question. What's the answer? The answer. How do we reform it? The answer is to read a book, you, you illiterate son of a bitch. If you don't know how to change from the caterpillar to the butterfly, if you don't know how to transition with your senior citizen ass into a grown man, you got grown men out there doing it. It's like when you watch that movie that Nipsey was in, when he was like, Rim Rain was, Rim Rain was saying, you could be tough or you could be smart. That's tough, but it ain't smart. Right. And this is where we at right now. Everybody is tough. It's like, yo, if we so tough, if you so tough, and you have a high rank, use your authority to stop these young kids from getting shot. The babies is dying. Enough that's is enough. That's what it was back in the days. Anytime you see in videos, it's like, yo, everything's caught on tape. It's like banned from TV doesn't really turn into real life. Where you watching women being raped outside and dudes not even fe fearing consequences, that means a black man has become the greatest coward on the face of this earth in America. I remember getting into a fight in front of my building with a dude that's like 6'7". He was n notorious for like bullying people in the hood. It got crazy. Real crazy. And after they pulled me off of him, homeboy got up. And he said, you know what I'm going to get? So I chased him. Four blocks. Four long blocks. <laughs> I was winded. I couldn't catch this thing. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't catch him. It was hot. The old heads heard about it. They came talk to me. And when they talked to him, next time I seen him, he came to me like this. Grown man. Huh. That's what's missing. Those old heads. The brother that was just in here that just went outside a little bit earlier, right? He was breaking down like he didn't understand how my brother T Mac, the effect that it had over the block. When he was on the block, there was discipline on the block. When he went to jail, total chaos. The killing just went through the roof. The OGs that was out there kept a cap on that. It, it was discipline. Right. Every time the feds come in and they snatch away the older dudes, they leave a, a, a ripple where the younger dudes come up. They snatch so many dudes to where that now the generations that's leading, it will never be that discipline. It's just drill music. But you see that in every type of uh, a family structure, even amongst animals. You take away the matriarch, take away the, 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 the masculine energy. The cubs are fighting. The cubs are destroying each other because there's no <laughs> there's no father, there's no figure to come through and be like, hey, stop that shit. And that's what you get. When are we going to stop? A lot of you young niggas got kids. A lot of y'all got kids. Imagine, and I want you to, I want you to sit and imagine all the horrible things that could happen to your kid while you locked up. Yo, did you see the old... Oh, while you're gone. Did you see the old lady working her ass, the granny with the blonde hair, little dreads? She's circulating all over Instagram. She like a... Like the... Cougar? Man. It's a girl, but it's a filter. Even if it is a filter, let's just say, because it looks like she's, great, she's granny. Mm -hmm. Granny twerking now. We mm. doomed. Granny is not making Sunday dinners anymore. Granny is <laughs> it's twerking. twerking now. <laughs> it's a, it's a Granny, it's a big video. if it is, you it can't tell. Good. But the reality of it is, <laughs> but yo, that video is crazy. But the reality of it is, <laughs> yeah. on some real, yeah. Granny ain't making Sunday dinners no more. Mm -hmm. Granny in the club. 
dancing to Rick Ross. Mm. It's over. The integrity that kept the family together, that thread that kept that fam the family together, it's over. I mean, for me, I grew up in a house where it was like 30 cousins sleeping on the floor in grandma's house. Right. We don't even speak to each other no more. Mm. You see what I'm saying? It's like some of them deal with each other like that tightness that, that, that we had. Niggas have seen me break down mentally on the internet going through some shit. Won't even say, yo, we're we going to have a dinner. We all pulling together. That's like, how it is, man. Yeah, it, it, that's how it is. But now listen, but understand, we built for this. We built for this. Us. We built for this. And the reason why we sit here is to instill in everybody else that 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 that, that little column that say 18 to 24. When you check your analytics, mm -hmm. that 18 to 24. Yeah. They learning. They are. They're learning. They're learning. And y'all guys, y'all gotta understand something, right? I always be sarcastic. You ever watch that show? Is you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah, I got a fifth grade education, and they mad. They got these, they got these fifth grade dudes getting on on social media. Who they think they is? Who you think I am? Some people feel like, like when you listen to whack, yeah, because you got the smallest amount of money in the room. That's not what make me. My personality is what got you at this table. If you take away everything, I'm still going to have my personality. Right. Until the day I can I pray I never get old timers or none of that stuff that mess with old the brain. Old timers, yeah. But at the same time. Eat them blueberries. <laughs> while I was here, the antioxidants, yes. While I'm here and I got sound mind, even with said, man, let me get drunk. I'm going to still give you the jewels that you need. This is what I'm here for. Each one, teach one. That's it. The more war of the story. There's going to come a time we might have a nuclear bomb just drop. And there's nothing. We back to the old ways of working to get, get it how you live it. You got to plant. Put your seed down. Water it. Grow it. It's all here. And that's it. Bottom line to it. All we got is us. But if we ain't we got, got us, what us. do we got? And that, and that was the reason why I kind of felt the way that Big U was involved in it. In, the, in that whole thing, because I see someone who had who comes from from the background, but what they're doing with the films and movies and all this stuff is trying to push that stuff to the side, or at least give you a glimpse of what it is. Let me say this to Big U, right? I pray to a lost upon a Wathala that I'm totally wrong about you and. And we all are, you know, because it's, it's regardless of what people say, you can't say COINTEL Pro when Nipsey is actually a dead body that's in the ground. We need answers. That's the bottom line to that. And when you listen to the things that Wax said, and this is your friend, what about your friends? We can't they call They smile him. in your face. Like, come on, man. We can't call him his friend. We don't know. You got games saying Kanye did more for me than Dr. J. We know what that is. I listen to an audio. We, we can't take away the credit from one thing and then give credit in another. Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, we, 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 we can't say WAC 100 is Big U's friend, but we could say he damn sure know Big U's whole family. Mm. Arguing with his niece all on Clubhouse. Mm disrespectful. Mm. There's a line you just don't cross. But with WAC, obviously, there's no lines. Absolutely none. I would never want to take pride in saying I went to a gang and sold guns in between them and <laughs> if he dies, he dies. Like, huh? It's just what, I don't know, with age comes wisdom. And at some point in time when you're a righteous man, Every step is preparing you towards the grave. You take preparations and do things just to make life better. Nah, this nigga's getting dirtier with age. The older he get, the more foul he get. Oh. We've seen those people too. We've seen those people. Well, we know how to end. 
Because yeah. because the, the reality for all of y'all that think that all of this is staged and fake, y'all better understand something. WAC 100 would have never played this role knowing that them Cali dudes, if they catch him outside his studio out there, he's done. You can't fake that. Them niggas is mad. And there's going to be somebody that says, you know what? Today is a bad day and I hate this mother. He deserve everything he get. And whack you do. You deserve whatever you get. Ain't no faking this. Because the reality of it is, if I would even play a role like this, towards the end I would have to sit up there and say, okay, we won. It was a joke. Because then my credibility goes in the garbage for what? Well, here's a question. Is whack playing the game the way the game is supposed to be played? We would have to ask his own, his senior officer. Because the reality of it is, right. this shit ain't normal. This is not regular shit. Mm. Usually when you get caught in too deep the way whack is, people disappear for a little while. Right. He's standing his ground because he's making his debut on social media. Clubhouse is an app that's being backed by somebody or somebody's. Right. Either way, something, something just ain't right. Pay attention, man. Pay attention. Why? Why? Pay attention. It's the Clean Neighborhood Act. Pay attention. Pay attention. Please. For the sake of your kids, pay attention. Hassan, every time, it gets deeper and deeper. I feel like the next time we do something, it's going to be in a fucking safe somewhere. <laughs> it's going to be something <laughs> crazy. Yo. And it's um, like, yo, you know what? Before we end this out, man, let me say this, man. I shouldn't have to prove that. I'm outside. It's not about that. Summertime is coming. Stay your ass in the house, man. Mm. Go find a backyard barbecue with a hood boogers. Know how to act disciplined. Right. It's safe to say it ain't safe outside. Go travel. It's hunting season. Go travel. The police got new technology to detect whether you holding or not. So when you step outside in these streets... They're hunting. The judges is not playing. Pay attention. It's hang them high. We Pay shouldn't attention. have to watch each other and watch the enemy at the same time, man. And at this point in time, in my life, for the first time in my life, let me, see the, let me say to the police officers out there, good job for bringing the crime rate down because y'all locked up the dudes that was raping the woman. Black Lives Matter was nowhere around. Mm. Y'all locked up the dudes that was killing the babies the OGs on the block didn't really give a damn enough to sit up there and say, yeah, this is never going to happen again or somebody else going to die. Babies is dying. So now, for all of y'all that say and keep saying defund the police, I say to the police, good job. Because the reality of it is, dudes is not really going through the stop and frisk like that as much as we used to. They are coming with some form of respect and discipline. And at the end of the day, if the police stop doing their job right now, Black America is going to turn to shit because it ain't too many stand-up men anymore. Y'all took a bow like bitches. All y'all got the bag, went on vacation, went to Africa, bought mansions, and um, the police then fell back. They ain't really shooting too many people no more. So all your pay, paid activists done deactivated. Good night. Figure you got some words? It's always about peace and love, you know, it's always about God, it's always about truth. We should always try to come together, you know, um, we should try to come together. This thing with the West Coast, East Coast, it, that narrative is being painted by someone that is trying to separate us as a culture. Agreed. Um, for everybody, all artists out there and everything, that whole thing, that check-in thing, or for people that don't want to hire security. I gave y'all my phone number. This is real, you know what I'm saying? From East Coast to West Coast. Call me. 
You know what I'm saying? If you have proper security, armed officers, that whole check-in thing is, 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 is fake. It's, right? it's not real for the guys who don't want to hire security. Now, beyond all things, you already know what I promote. The way to be fully secure is within Christ. If you're not fully secure within Christ, if you're not fully secure within God, ain't no security Thank to God. protect you. Good message. We out. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.